Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another All Trades Accepted and this time we are headed to St. Louis. It is time to take on the All Trades Accepted Challenge with the Blues. It's definitely better to set the trading block to look for players that can actually be on the roster as opposed to just letting the entire block be open because obviously the computers can see that they are able to fleece you and they will most certainly fleece you. And I did it again. Are you kidding me? All right, give me a second. Someone suggested to just do the 32 team expansion. And yeah, I didn't really think about that, but I suppose it brings you to the same part of the season, which is the off season. So that will work out just as good as having the 33 team expansion. And then we just basically get to see a redraft from Seattle. Who are they gonna take from the St. Louis Blues? The, oh wait, actually, hold on. This looks kind of accurate this time. Buffalo stays at one and Seattle's at number two. So maybe it's only the 33 team expansion draft that completely, but oh, I'll, I'm fine with that. But yeah, I think it's only the, 33 team expansion draft that butchers that list apparently anyway yeah this looks pretty accurate all right well let's sim the first three picks and see who gets taken an 80 overall medium elite sniper we have clark going second overall medium elite sim pick and we get eklund all right so if we sim to our pick at pick 16 we might get a top six forward probably anyway oh i'm gonna take a risk on this guy yeah let's let's try it why not i doubt their franchise but Medium elite, we take that. Oh, I don't think I did the... It didn't even give me an option to add a contract here this time. I don't think. Maybe I just missed it. But anyway, I guess I'll try to do some re-signing here. Oh yeah, I guess we get Vince Dunn back if we do it this way as well. Because he went to Seattle. But you know what? I'm going to go back and do the 33 team one. I like it better. If anybody's going to wonder what roster I'm using for this video, it is this one right here. It kind of seems like the game's having trouble downloading these logos right now. Because you can't do no logo, can you? Or can you? That's kind of interesting. I'm curious to see what's going to happen because they do not have a logo. All right, third time's the charm. There we go. There's the inaccurate draft lottery results. And let's find out who we lose to the Atlanta Thrashers. It is Achari. Time to redo the draft here. So we get, oh my word, a medium franchise player going to the Buffalo Sabres. Medium elite defender to the Detroit Red Wings. And then stage in medium elite centerman. Who are the logo list thrashers going to get? Hornfist. All right, let's sim to our pick. Um, hello? Okay, this is a weak draft. We are getting absolutely nothing here. So I guess I'll just grab Sammy for now. Not like it matters anyway. You're only doing one year. Yeah, medium top nine. This time I was able to add a contract here. I don't know if I was or was not able last time, but... We have them under contract. And yeah, I just realized that last roster was... Oh, uh, well, no, I think it might have been okay. Wow, we have a lot of good players on the trading block. I didn't even do that. This was done for me. I'm turning draft picks off for our wants because obviously the teams will abuse the crap out of that. And then for the surplus, I will make our whole team available. All right, let's let the games begin. I have it set to a minimum age of 20, 22, and 23. So that way we're not going to get any, you know, unsigned players or 18 old players that have decent value they should at least be an okay overall that's probably famous last words but i'm gonna sim to the next season and let's see what happens here we get a trade from new jersey we're getting vc and tata for a brown and hoffer except trade robertson headed out for nieto from the san jose sharks only two trades and a bit of a break here. Oh, all right. We're losing Tory Krug and Bitten, and we're getting back Weidman and Gallagher from the Montreal Canadiens. A seventh and Kaz pick headed to Ottawa in exchange for Austin Watson. And we have a few trades under our belt at this point. Another one coming in. This does not look like a big trade by any means, but we have to accept it nonetheless. We have no choice in the matter. Bjugstad for a six. We will accept that one as well from the Arizona Coyotes. All right, that was relatively uneventful considering how many trades we normally get. Let me guess. It's been updated. Yes, it sure has. Trade block has been updated. Time to have a look at our lines here. What do we have? We got a plus five on line one. One is what we have. Kairu, O'Reilly, and Tarasenko. Line two, we got Buchnevich, Thomas, and Gallagher. That is crazy. Watson, Shen, and Saad on the third line. And our fourth line is not bad. It's pretty solid. Here's our defense. And honestly, I'm kind of tempted. Why is he... He's right-handed. 
This guy is left-handed. If we do that, okay, we can get a plus two, plus two that way. But I don't know if I want to do that per se. I'd rather keep the... Oh, wait, he also shoots right. So that makes a lot more sense. All right, you're getting promoted then. We're going to have a left and right here. Plus two, plus two, and same thing. Well, no, actually not same thing. This is a zero, but it's not even close to the same thing. I guess relatively, you know, there's a lot of numbers in the world. So two is pretty close to zero considering. But anyway, we got Bennington and Grace. Grice. I I don't know why I said Greece. I have no idea. We're looking pretty good. Let's start the simulation and see how many trades we get at the beginning of the year. Yeah, Atlanta just does not have a logo. I don't understand how this is happening, why this is happening, but it's happening. And so is this trade, unfortunately. Wow. Not a fan of that one, but again, we don't have a choice in the matter. Here's the updated lines. We still got the plus five on line one and a plus one on line three here. Defensively, we got two plus twos and then a dash one, but that's all right. I'll accept it. And if we go to our goaltenders, nothing has changed. Shocker. Cheeky little six and oh start. Yeah, of course. I knew that was going to happen. I knew as soon as I said something, we would lose. It literally happens without fail. Are you kidding me? We're losing Robert Thomas in exchange for Gudis and Achari. How is how is that fair value? All right, Achari is now the second line center here with Gallagher and Buchnevich. For some reason, we lost our plus one here, but I'm going to put it right back. Watson shoots right and he shoots left. So there you go. Ta-da. Oh, Gudis is 84 overall. All right. I kind of get it now. I did not think he was 84. So we have... Two plus twos and a zero again. And nothing has changed back here. Still just one not nervous boy. Bro, what are these trades? We're losing Falk for Benina. Uh, I just don't even want to announce it. Well, there goes our plus two on the second defensive pair. I absolutely love that for us. And nothing has changed back here. Oh, no, it did. It actually did. We got Adden Hill. Wow. I feel like the game is broken. I have no idea what's happening right now. And I'm a little bit scared. Turns out all I had to do... To fix it was restart the simulation. Just stop it and re what? Hello? What is this? Oh, I mean, yeah, sure. All I did was best lines, and now we have 5011 here for our offense. Defense, we have our plus twos back. And in net, nothing changed this time. Once again, it broke the simulation. So I need to find our way back here. There we go. They're actually, wow, Bennington for Blackwood and then Loof for Palat. Accept that trade from New Jersey. Let's go to our roster moves. There is going to be a change, believe it or not, in our goaltender category. So we have 5-0-2-1 now with Palat down there. Defensively, we're still 2-2-0. And in net, we have 81 overall Mackenzie Blackwood. It's not too often you see goalie trades, I feel like. So that is pretty cool. Also, I feel like I saw aces when we went over the logo list team. I swear I picked them and it said thrashers, but I could be incredibly wrong. I do, I'm so lost, by the way, as to what's going on right now. We're getting Braden Shen, yeah. And we're getting Allen for Pareko and a third. Accept trade. Okay. Here's our offense after that most recent trade. Defensively, we have a 1 2 dash 1 now. And our goaltenders, we have Allen. 86 overall will be the new starter. I gotta say, this one's been pretty unique. From, uh, I, can we, I can't remember if we've had any goalie trades that have actually swapped our starting goaltender. I don't recall any off the top of my head. We're getting Sanheim and Fitzgerald in exchange for Highmore and Tarasenko. There goes our plus five on line one. Why did it not ask me to edit the lines? Wait, what? I, hello? Did I not accept it? This was literally the trade they sent me a second ago. There's no salary retention. I'm so confused. Well, I could try. I mean, it was my fault it didn't go through. So I'm gonna try to make it go through in any way possible now. So for some reason now, maybe they made another trade, but I have to retain... 2.1 million of Tarasenko's contract and now they're gonna say they're coming out way ahead and that I'm an idiot But I rejected it. So that's my bad making up for that by proposing this trade. Oh, okay So never mind. It was just sort of a fair trade Also, I'm not really sure how the game capture HD works for that because I sort of backtracked while still recording So hopefully it's still all live there, but we have plus one for every offensive line 
Defense, we have all zeros. And in net, we have Jake Allen and Mackenzie Blackwood. Nice, our trade block hasn't been updated, so let's enter the trade deadline, see if we get any trades. But I'm kind of happy with our team, although we're not doing fantastic. I mean, yeah, let's just enter the deadline and see what happens if we get any requests. We have to accept them, obviously. That's the whole point. Pavelski, Hamilton, Ranta, Shifley. He's down to an 85 overall now. Oh, but I guess it is a custom roster, so I don't know what overall he is in EA terms. Yeah, this is the fun part of these videos. Just, you know, sitting here chilling, waiting. Okay, I could be crazy, but the time seems to be moving a lot slower than normal. I normally wait till 8 a.m. Don't know if I'm gonna last that long this time. All right, this has been fun and all, but I think I might have to take off. I'm debating on trying to make some trades go through like this. Okay, nothing found. What about Dougie? No. Do we have anything for... I don't want Ranta. Rhyme or no, I'm okay on all of that. DeMello might be decent to try and get, but I don't want to give up any of our forwards. I like the fact that we have plus one for every line. Yeah, rather uneventful. But in the meantime, let's check out the trade summary. Oh, the Thrasher's abbreviation is aces. Okay, that makes sense now. But anyway... New Jersey got a couple picks there in exchange for Graves and a couple picks from one round higher. This is literally it. There is not many trades going on. It's kind of a boring trade deadline. Oh? Edmonton making a move? Rodrigue! And Shattenkirk headed back the other way. All right, it's been real, guys, but I'm out. Just a refresher. Once again, here's our lines that we will have for the remainder of the season if we go to our defense. Can't get a plus one anywhere. Oh, I'm doing it. I don't care. Sorry, Sandheim. That is worth it. To the end of the season we go. Will we make the playoffs? Nobody knows. This is one of the more successful post-trade deadlines I've seen. I, we're giving ourselves a real shot here is what I'm trying to say. If we make it in, it's because our division is absolutely pathetic. Wow, we did not deserve that one bit. We finished third in the Central with 90 points. Smashville won the President's Trophy with 116. Florida finished 11th and didn't make the playoffs. Detroit finished 13th and didn't make it. 15th for the Islanders who didn't make it. And then we have the 19th placed Vancouver Canucks. Wow, <laughs> making the playoffs. Not my playoff system. Buchnevich had the most points for us with 60 and he was still a dash six so I have no idea how we made it in but we are here nonetheless and it's a whole new season so we still have a legitimate shot and what I mean by that is a legitimate shot to get swept in the first round. I guess I'll check how our goalies did first. Allen had a 909 274. Blackwood had a 911 270 and wow Grice didn't play many games but he had a 933 204. Let's go. I'm gonna pronounce your name wrong more often. Darcy Kemper led the league with 45 wins a 917 save percentage 248 I really hope that happens next year that would be very very good in case you guys did not know the Washington Capitals are my boys so that's you know looking forward to that basically is what I'm trying to get at here a 926 from Vasilevsky I see a 912 down here from Mrazek. You see what I see. Put up a 918. Yossi led defenseman with 81 points on the President's Trophy winning Nashville Predators. So they're going to do pretty good in the hardware department this season. Doughty put up 79. And then the next closest was Carlson with 67. So these two were far ahead of the pack. And Moritz put up 65. That's sick. Marner wins the Art Ross with 104 points and 74 helpers. Ovi got 101 and 62 goals, so he's definitely winning the Rocket Richard. They were the only two players to break the hundo. Playoff time, baby! Can we- Oh, that's not how I expected that to go at all. Oh, all right. Oh, we actually did it. I thought we were done. After we lost those two games, it was starting to go how I originally expected it to, but then we somehow pulled it off. Okay. Oh, we're done. Smashville put us out. The President's Trophy winners deleted us in the conference semifinals. And the Tampa Bay Lightning go on to win the Stanley Cup. Stellar playoff performance from Kairou. Point a game. 13 games, 13 points. O'Reilly had 13 as well. He was also point a game. And a plus 7, plus 9 for Kairou. So we definitely performed better in the playoffs. What about the entire league? 27 points from Cooch. 22 from Stamkos. And we have 21 from McDavid. 21 from Hedman. Let's go, Hedman. Oh, I was going to say he's the only defenseman on the front page, but he most certainly is not. We got Sergachev as well. I'll just go through the trophies real quick here. Is it going to be Moritz that wins? Oh no, Calder goes to Gold Caulfield. Fazzy wins the Jennings and the Vesna. Labushkin with the Bill Masterton. And then, yeah, as we expected, Ovechkin gets the Rockets Richard. Here's the playoff tree. Here's how it all went down. I don't see any... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, don't see any sweeps so far. But then... 
the very last place I looked, the bottom left, there's two of them. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad you guys are still enjoying this series. Keep the team recommendation comments coming as well. And if you have any other video ideas, go ahead and let me know. I'm always on the hunt for new video ideas. So appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon.